Okay, so. <clears throat> So what are the constant element or things in a below web address or till where the URL is seen in every example? So the URL. If same. If is same in every example above, then what benefit we can get? Then what is the benefit of it? Then, then how can we how can we use it? Purchase. Oh, the constant. It's a jackpot. In the same in, in URL, so we get.
okay mm, what is the web address what is a folder or what is a folder what is a what is the It's like yes. it's like our home address. Web address is because second year website address hosted or published on World Wide Web, for example. It's like our web address physically, physical, physical, which is being registered. Registered in register office. Okay, what is a web address? Web address is basically a website address hosted or published on World Wide Web, for example, LinkedIn.com, GitHub.com, for and all. Okay, it's like our home address physically, which has been which has been registered in the government register office against our property. In case <clears throat> then in case if someone owns that property then we won't be similarly Post the website, register, publish, or host any website, right? Any website, uh, web hosting platforms.
we tried checking sourcing express.com and search and, and which was available. And so we could go ahead and it was a blur also. Or buy which was available for a sale, sale or register or hosting, hosting or publishing. Okay. So uh, what is a web address? Web address is basically a website address hosted or published on a World Wide Web, for example, okay? It's like our home address, physical, which has been registered in the government register office against our properties. In case someone owns the property, then we won't be able to register the same, okay? Same property again, again. Similarly, when we try to register, publish, or host any website, uh, host uh, any website, web hosting platforms like GoDaddy, Google for Business. First, cross verify if the same name has been claimed, has been claimed by anyone else. If not, they will allow us to register. Here is an example for the same. In this example, we tried checking. Okay, and here is okay. Now, what is folder? folder in website folder is basically folder is basically a sub sublink uh, folder is basically what i would say folder is basically folder is basically an additional uh, folder is basically an additional link or folder is basically an sub sub folders or uh, folder is basically a child yes folder is basically a child folder is basically a child of child of website it could be as many as possible awesome idea with different name okay folder is basically a child of that website uh, folder is basically a child of that website and it could be as many as possible and child could be and child could be as many and children could be and children and children's or folder and children's or folders could be as many as possible with a different name but not same name with different name and functionality with different name and functionality every folder so i am different from my sister my brother is different from me so we are three me my sister and brother we three have a different functionality we three have a different name but we three are a children of our parents 
So parent is a website, I would say here in this language. And then children are the subfolders. Make sense? Yes, no, say something. <laughs> or am I taking a wrong example? So folder is basically a child of that website and the children's or folder could be as many as possible with a different name and functionality. And which are always and which are always are always linked linked with parents and every folder link would look like forward slash mm, feed forward slash jobs forward slash network or my network my network. Forward slash in. Any doubt, any confusion? Good, bad. Say something, guys. It's, it's clear. Okay, what is folder in a website? Folder is basically a child of that website and the children's or folder could be as many as possible with a different name and functionality and which are always linked with a parent. Hence, every link would look like www. Okay. Now, every different website like Every family name is different and has a different functionality. Similarly, every name is different and child has a different name. Function. For example, LinkedIn.com 
forward slash in. In future for files. And so we have below uh, websites with link to with parent plus parent plus link view <coughs> on those for example other than LinkedIn okay hence we use hence we can use them in in URL view profile or children this example I'm loving man I never <coughs> got such example but this example is perfectly suiting here what say guys Say something. <laughs> yes, no. You're right, uh, Shiv. Huh? Yeah, right. You've been a part of previous sessions also. <laughs> I'll not take it up now. It would come confused. Let's take. <clears throat> okay, so in URL, Quora.com. So, so instead of this, <coughs> we'll just give the URL code. We did not get it. The reason because these two, this all will remove. In Quora, basically, people do not host their CVs. It's a <clears throat> discussion it's it go rise basically a site for a discussion Bangor or Bangor. yeah we got from Gora <clears throat> let's say additionally okay we'll view these results okay amazed acoustic senior software developer at finestra from bangalore karnataka software engineer at student project guide lives in bangalore software engineer okay so let's say at 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 bachelor at uh, Finestra. So let's say <coughs> software engineer, software developer, software Bangalore. Shiva, quick question here. Mm -hmm. So you haven't put Bangalore in in quotes, but it's still showing the results every time. So first thing, Bangalore or Bangalore, we are trying to search as a keyword. Okay. So now Google is assuming that this person might be interested in looking at the profiles from the Bangalore or Bangalore. But okay. in a use cases where we need that must to have, I just need a mm -hmm. strong command. That's where we use double quotes. Okay. And if I want to use a double strong command with the escalation saying that Google no, not just the double quotes, then I would go with in text colon double quotes. That goes okay. with the escalation. Okay. Thanks. So you're copying Google's manager and saying, okay, hey, in text, that is your copying Google's manager and saying, I want these results. It's like that. But otherwise, normal keyword also would do. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, now at Amazon. So now let me just remove this profile. So anyways, everywhere we could see Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. The software developer who loves, okay, from Bangalore, okay, at Amazon. At Amazon. At Amazon from Bangalore. At Amazon is missing. Okay, software engineer. At Amazon would be somewhere in the entire page. So here it is at Amazon. Okay, at Amazon. Look at Swiggy somewhere the Amazon with Amazon and all. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Get at, get at Amazon. All right. So yeah, that's about Quora. Basically about any URL. Similarly, Stack Overflow. We have last ten minutes left. We'll get logged out and i think that's it for today we'll come back again tomorrow but i'll i'll leave last 10 minutes in case if you have any further doubts so now here we got it from why these two results are coming in when we give okay we did not use oh, come on yeah in url we just give stop stack .com. that's where we were getting a result from the various website but now we'll say no google we want some things only from the stack .com forward slash user that's where we are using additional in url now we got all the results on stack overflow who are the software engineers and who are working at amazon SD at Amazon, individual user, software programmer at Amazon, software developer at Amazon, SD2 at Amazon, software developer at Amazon, and software development engineer at Amazon. So clear with in, in URL use case, what is in URL? How does that in URL works? What is web address? When we register our profile on those websites, how our web, web address looks like, what part of web addresses we can leverage to do these searches by inserting that particular part in the URL. Any further doubts, confusion, please feel free to ask. Hashim, yeah, uh, yes. if, uh, in the Stack Overflow, you have put user, like in LinkedIn, we put in, uh, then you have put uh, user. Exactly. In your for example, for a, exactly. For example, other than www.linkedin.com forward slash in for individual profiles, we have a below website with parent plus child link to view individual profiles on those sites. Hence, we can use them in a in URL. Now, the way every family has a different name, and in that family, every children has a different name. If I say LinkedIn.com is one family, Quora.com is one family, StackOverflow.com Stack is another family. Three families, three different names. One family is naming for the individual profile, they're naming forward slash in. One family is naming forward slash profile. One family is naming forward slash user. So family names cannot be same. Children name can be same, okay. Uh, so forward slash in, forward slash profile, forward slash user might repeat in different website like Hacker Earth. Okay, in Hacker Earth, in Hacker Rank. Okay, so if you see in Hacker Rank, child name is profile. So that can be same or a different, but we need to understand what is that child name. So for LinkedIn, huh? 
How, how will we come to know about that? Uh, you know, like uh, as you said, for Quora, you can write profile. For Stack Flow, we can write user. And for LinkedIn, we can write in. And for Hacker, and how do we come to know that you know they use a different child name? Now, but, uh, by doing the experience. Now, simple. Okay. Now let's say if I just go, if I sign up on that site, I would go, and I would view my own profile, and I would see how is it oh, okay. from here. Okay. Okay. Got it. Chief. Got it. And otherwise, I will view someone else profile. This profile I would view. I would see how is the child name here. Oh, otherwise we open a couple of profiles, right? This also. Oh, okay. Let me just come to home. Just see, view some of someone else's profile, and you'll be able to see also is a child name. I think it's very important uh, to, to note these points, right? Exactly. Just view some profiles. How do you know what is the child name? Exactly. Very good question. We'll cover this also. Please visit number of I think you have to go if you want to get profile from Facebook, you have to go to Facebook, right? And check I you know what you visit the number of individual profiles on those websites and see. what part is assigned assigned or named after uh, after 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 ww dot parent name dot com forward slash okay please visit number of individual profiles on those websites and see what part is assigned <clears throat> what part is assigned or named what part is assigned or named what part is assigned or named after www parentname.com after forward slash for individual profiles. Profiles. For example, again, this only. Clear, but that was a good question. Kali individual profiles, they close much jaga. Why is it not there? Okay, we commented here. That's reason it's not there. Yeah, yes, no, good, bad. Yeah, yeah. understood, uh, Shiv. Just visit individual profiles. Abhi. Stack Overflow, then Stack Overflow, um, I just come home. Best way is like, best way is sign up yourself and go to your own profile. 
you just sign up and go to your own profile and see what is the child name here and till child name okay another note parent name is always in a dark and child name is always in a gray any any web link you can add even github also shift so that you know we can understand github github example i'll take later it yeah. it can be i'll take later that's what i mentioned important note in any web link with parent plus child name parent name is always in dark in any web link with parent plus child name name always appears 